another Steam Next Fest game. Due to my restricted schedule, I couldn't get much time with the demos, but I managed to separate four games that I think are worth checking out. So let's talk about them. Symphonia is a platformer where you take control of a magical musician and have to restore the world with music. The visuals as well as the music were great, and the platforming for a tutorial level is good and does a good job of teaching the player about the game. It felt a bit like Ori at times when you got into the flow and hit all the right timings for jumps. My only complaint for the demo is that it was very short, and my worry for the final game is how complex the platforming will get since there aren't enemies, and the trailer for the game mostly just showed the initial level. Windblown is the next game from Motion Twin, the developers of Dead Cells. Much like Dead Cells, Windblown is a roguelite where you progress through the stage, acquiring perks and upgrades during the run, and bringing people and resources back to the main hub. The main difference is that now, instead of a sideways 2D, it is a 3D isometric view. The game looks good, both environments and characters. The dash is the main mechanic of the game, for both exploration and combat. It has very tight controls, every time you die it is your own fault. I don't see myself playing this game with new releases, because I'm not a big fan of rogue games, but I had a very good time with the demo. Luma Island was a demo I was reluctant to try since I tend to get too caught up in live sim games, but I decided to give it a shot. It conveyed well what the game will be about. In comparison to Stardew Valley, it focuses much more on exploration, with a bunch of chests and locations tucked away at places that force you to investigate the surroundings in order to reach them. The demo could feel like a slog sometimes due to the slow movement and the initial tools taking a long time to extract resources, but you'll be able to upgrade them in the final game, which will probably alleviate this. The visuals of the environments and characters also had its charm, which definitely helps. Urban Myth Dissolution Center was my favorite among the demos I played. It is a point-and-click puzzle game with influence of visual novels such as Ace Attorney. You have to figure out supernatural cases by investigating around environments and talking with NPCs in order to get clues. And once you have gathered enough clues, the game will start asking questions to check if you solved the case. Fortunately, there's no time limit and you can retry answers in case you got things wrong. The anime visuals and the story are also pretty good, which helps. My only complaint was that the demo can be a bit easy, since you can just brute four sensors due to being able to retry as many times as you want. These were the demos that caught my attention on this Steam Next Fest. If you want to talk about demos I didn't cover, leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you around.